This cable I'm holding in my hand solves a very niche problem that happens on those 600 watt RTX 5090s. And now with the 12 volt 2x6, the high power connector, sometimes, you, as you may have seen on the internet, you can have a melted connector. Now, ASRock have a solution with their Tai Chi power supplies. And these range from the 1300 watt all the way up to the 1650 watt, which I've got two of these on display at the moment. But back to this connector right here, what it has is an independent temperature sensor built onto the connector itself that then plugs into the power supply with a two pin connector. And this has got a 95 degree Celsius temperature maximum. So when or if that uh, GPU starts, something starts going wrong, perhaps the connection wasn't connected properly, then this will just shut off the entire power supply and save you from a melted connector, possibly a damaged GPU in the process. Now also you'll notice the color coding here where it's got two different colors between the actual connection point and the main connector. And what this means is that once that's fully black to your visible eyes, you know you've fully inserted the connector. So really unique design that's only available on the Tai Chi line of power supplies and not also on the Steel Legend series, which we'll be taking a look at later. But one unique feature about these power supplies is that they are so high powered that you will need to have a C19 connector. So this is a higher power power supply that does utilize that bigger connection point. Now, also inside the power supply itself, when we move over to this transparent display here, you've got cool MOS, MOSFETs inside from Infineon, as well as silicon carbide throughout the actual power supply, as well as 100% Japanese capacitors throughout. This just means that they can hit a 94% efficiency rating, basically the highest rating you can get on power supplies. So really efficient power supply, but also got the performance to match. Now, here's the thing about this power supply. It's gonna be coming in at just under 500 USD, but it's also got that safety feature built in and the fact that the competitors are releasing their power supplies like this for 550, I think it's a good, nice competitive power supply for the market, coupled in the fact that you got that safety feature, which if you're gonna go out and spend ample amounts of money on these real high-end builds with these potential niche problems, I think the Tai Chi power supply actually makes a lot of sense. But as we move over now to the Steel Legend series, this has got that much more budget focus in mind, but still obtaining those high power ratings of the 80 plus gold as well as having from the 650 watt model, starting at $90, going up to the 1200 watt model, which will be about $180. And what these feature is still the 100% Japanese caps, but they are going away with like things like silicon carbide, as well as the Infineon Cool Moss MOSFETs. And also these take the C Knight, and also for the connection at the back, these take just your regular kettle cable style connections. So looking at these power supplies, however, the design itself, both the Steel Legend and the Tai Chi series are fully modular. And you'll see here 135 millimeter fans to keep things very cool as well as quiet. Now in particular on these Steel Legends, you've got the white and the black aesthetic available, but you've also got an RGB switch on the back to change your colors out as well as turn off the RGB if you want to by cycling with the power supply directly. So you don't really need to hook this up to any RGB firmware or software to have a bit of RGB coming out. Also, the final thing I forgot to mention was the actual warranty. Even on a 650 watt steel legend at 90 bucks, 10 years. And so looking forward to seeing ASRock come into the power supply market with a bang. Now switching gears here at the ASRock booth to something that really caught my eye was this 32 inch 4K 240 Hertz panel. Now this is a Samsung panel. So it's gonna be the latest and greatest on this 4K lineup. And what you're getting here essentially is not just the panel and the gorgeous picture and the gloss look, you're also getting a color braided panel at that. So the calibration included in the monitor is what's making ASRock really stand out from the competitors on their monitors, as well as noticing it's got a KVM switch built in too. So they're adding these extra features into the monitor to just try and distinguish themselves a little bit better from the competition. Now, one thing about these panels, I've already tried 240 Hertz the generation before on the 4K OLED Samsung QD OLED panels. They're absolutely gorgeous and it's one of those things in tech where I was actually talking about this last night 
uh, over just having dinner with the boys. And for me, it's the one thing I get addicted to is just like having one of these panels. It's just too good. And I find myself, instead of doing work and just doing regular things, I find myself getting addicted to video games because of this panel right here. But in terms of release dates, we're coming out in about Q3 this year. So around September, you can expect this thing to hit the shelves. And I'm told it's going to be under 1,000 USD. The pricing is still anywhere between, I'd say, 800 and 1,000. That's what I'm being told. Uh, but I mean, if you want like end game for PC gaming, this thing is it. This is going to be a generation ahead of what I've already tried, and I was blown away by the Samsung QD OLED panel. It was just absolutely gorgeous, 240Hz 4K. So that's that one coming out. They've also got, beside that, these are already released. The 27 inches are available on the market, the 360Hz for 600 USD roughly. I think it's 625 on Newegg or something like that. But that's a Samsung QD OLED gloss. And then right beside that, you've got the Sam, uh, sorry, the LG matte 240 hertz now this is also around 600 usd but i was thinking to myself why would i not just pay the extra 25 usd get the gloss coating and the extra 120 hertz of refresh rate i just think having them side by side you can see the comparison here I, that's what you're getting with gloss versus matte i just think the gloss looks way better even in a well-lit environment like we're using now the reflections aren't that bad of course the matte panel will block out reflections better, give them sort of a Gaussian blur, but is that really worth it when you can just close the curtains and really enjoy those colors, those vibrant colors, and just the crispness just pops even more. But let's go around the corner here because they've also got one more monitor to look at that's being released a little bit later. Now, it's actually, they don't even have a price on this one, but it's for those people who want a little bit more budget in mind but still want a really high refresh rate so this is the pg27 qfw 2a and it's a quad hd or 1440p monitor and it's also got a 400 hertz refresh rate but with all that aside guys that wraps up our coverage for power supplies and monitors here at the asrock booth which was actually really different and really interesting hope you guys enjoyed this coverage here at computex 2025 if you have any questions or comments be sure to drop them down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can with that aside i'll catch you in the next tech video very soon peace out for now bye